So it's 11 at night, and I'm sitting in a McDonald's on the, uh, at a, you know, off the highway, and uh, just stopping on the way back from uh, Richmond to my hometown. And Homo asked me to make a video on... Holy shit, I'm so fucking fat, oh my gosh. I haven't actually, like, eaten McDonald's in a while. Oh my gosh. So, Homo asked me to make a video on, uh, more or less, what happens when adventurers come back from something and they're bringing in forgotten currency into the, uh, into the local economy and what effects that might have. All right. Um, it's been a while since I've took an economics class, and I don't have anything written out for this. And the cinematography on this is gonna just gonna be total shit. Holy moly! I really don't want to talk too loud because uh, I'm sitting in the corner. I don't want to be the guy sitting in the corner shouting at his phone. So bear with me a bit. Yeah, I'll just put my hand around the uh, put my hand over the microphone. Maybe that'll help. Nah, fuck it. So I don't. Yeah, just tap over while you listen to this. I don't think it'll be a really big problem. Yeah, no, not really. So consider this. Uh, ugh, fuck me. Just because the adventurers now have a lot more money does not mean that they will all necessarily spend it in a way that could endanger the market. Now I recall that when Mansa Musa was uh, was uh, on his uh, what's the word his mech his Hajj to Mecca uh, yeah African King Mansa Musa he had been giving out so much gold on his way there that the uh, value declined but uh, yeah the value of gold declined in the area for hundreds of years but the problem with that is he was just giving that out to common people right. What you want to do as an adventurer is to keep that purely within the adventurer's markets. Now, this is like a... Yeah, you just want to keep this within the adventurer's markets. Like, let's say that the... Like, if you just want to buy the same shit you've already got, again, that you just spent up... Man, this is not a good, very, very good can uh, phone for holding like this. I gotta speak louder yeah, if you want to just be, uh, spe like, refilling your, uh, current shit, then you really don't need to be spending a whole lot more than you already were. So you're keeping it to yourself, and what are you going to do with this? You can spend it on, like, magic items, and that's perfectly reasonable. Now what you're doing is, you're going through a medium who's spending the money to gather the materials to get it for you, and then... You're paying them, and then that's up to them to see, to see what they do with the money. They could invest it. They can put it in the they could uh, put it in the bank or something. I don't know. Put, do that in your setting. Have fucking people with investments. Holy shit! I got like this this fucking big dipper of zits on my chin now. That, that happened because I fucking shaved. I should never shave again, except when like someone asks me to, or if I get a job. Fuck where the hell was I? Oh yeah. So what I like to do, um, something I like to think about is money actually, or gold specifically, actually having some kind of, uh, some kind of magical effect, because, uh, let's see, this is something that I kind of got from, a uh, friggin', uh, some post on TG, where the idea is that the reason you want to turn something into gold, you know, alchemy, is because gold has a certain magical effect, and then you can make anything gold, and then you'd have unlimited magic. Spitting up potatoes over here, holy shit. So then, if you already have gold, then you've got a sort of source for money. A uh, source for money. So, let's see, what am I going, where am I going with this? Oh yeah, figure out some way to like, uh, just like directly transmute gold from currency into a, uh, yeah, into magic. Like, for, uh, for one adventure that I was doing, I had this magic item where it was, like, a magic transmutation sword where the scabbard actually had, like, a slot on it where you'd put money in, and then that would power it up for a bit to become a plus one sword for however many rounds for uh, every gold piece that you put in there. 
So there's an idea. Another one that I was doing, that I started doing, that I got from a uh, Dragon Magazine article called Orgies Incorporated, is that if you've got gold, then you can spend it, or then you can offer it to a god that you follow, and then you know because of this, because of this, they can give you like a, some kind of gift in return, or maybe uh, you just get flat experience. I just do flat experience because sometimes uh, after a fight, someone's gonna be like, ah, I'm just like this short of uh, leveling up and I can be like, eh, burn some of your gold and, they'll, and you'll get an experience bonus. So that's worked out pretty well for me. I might suggest that for one of your games. Another thing that you can do with like extra gold and lots of money is just find a source of power, like, you know, like a king or something, and give it to them. They've got more gold in their treasury. What are they gonna do to fucking complain? In fact, you're outright, uh, you're outright, uh, what's the word, going around any kind of uh, inflation problem, because when the, because if uh, whoever's in charge is, has the money, then they can do as they see fit to give it back, uh, to give it back in order to, like, uh, sort any kind of economical problems. Um, hmm. I mean, there's that. You can use it to, like, start bribing people, maybe. Like, you know, combat isn't always the only option. Bribing is always a viable... Yeah, it's pretty much always a viable uh, resource to get what you want. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, just, it just, like, spend it on a castle. Like, spend it... Spend your money and make it into something physical or do something with it that can, uh... Just, like, do something better with it. Because, like... There's, I, I feel like there's perfectly safe ways of, uh, like, spending it with, to where, like, uh, you can't just reason that the market gets totally fucked. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I took economics, so I, this is, I'm not really the best person to talk about this. But, uh, yeah, if you're the, if you're the dungeon master, especially, it's either up to you to have a reason to, to have a reason why bad shit doesn't happen when people spend a lot of money, or, uh, as a player, you know, find something good to do with it. Kind of rambled for a bit, but, uh, whatever. There you go. Hey! Video done.